today we are going to have an introduction towards operations research which is a compulsory subject in semester 6 TYBMS. As you know the theory paper is of 75 marks and internals are of 25 marks. In theory paper there are five questions question 1, question 2, question 3, question 4, question 5. Question 1 there will be A, B and C. Question 2 there will be A, B and C. Question 3 there will be A, B and C. Question 4 there will be A, B and C. And question number 5 is a case study. Case study is of 15 marks. Each question A, B and C is of 7.5 marks each. Out of this, we can solve any two. So, question number one to question number four, we are having an option of solving any two questions. In question number five, there is no option for 15 mark case study. Question number one is from unit one. Question number two is from unit two. Question number 3 is from unit 3 and question number 4 is from unit 4. The case study that is question number 5 is from any unit from 1, 2 or 3. It is not from unit 4, it can be from any 1 or 1, 2 and 3 units. Okay. So now we will take a look at the syllabus unit wise. Let us start from unit number one. This unit is having problems based on linear programming. In short, it is called LBP. Now there are two methods of solution in this. First method is called graphical method and second method is called simplex method. Now in question number one, there would be one question on graphical method of 7.5 marks. And there are likely to be two questions of simplex method, 7.5 marks each. So 1 plus 2, that is, this can be say for example, say question number A and this can be question number B, C. So out of this, we have to solve any two. This is question number 1. So they are all numerical problems. There is no theory involved in that. Okay. okay. We start with now unit number two. In unit number two, there are two topics. First topic is called assignment problems. And second topic is called transportation problems. Question number 2 is based on unit 2. In question number 2, say for example, question A will be on assignment 7.5 marks and question number B, question number C, it will be based on transportation problems. solve any two problems. Okay, we go on to unit 3. Unit 3 is what we call network analysis. In which we have to construct a network diagram of activities of a project. 
means it is related with project management where there are a number of activities in a project and we have to arrange the activities in a particular sequence as given in the question. Now unit 3 has three types of problems. First type of problem is called CPM which is critical path method. Second type of problem is called project crashing and third type of problem is called PERT. Full form of PERT is program evaluation and review technique. So on each of the three types we can expect one question of 7.5 months. So out of these three we have to solve any two. So this is unit number three entirely based on project management which is also called a network diagrams. Okay, now we go on to unit four. In unit four there are three topics. First topic is called decision theory. In decision theory again there are three types of questions. First is decision making under risk. Second is decision making under uncertainty. And third type is construction of decision tree. These are the three types of questions in decision theory. Second type of question, second topic in this unit is called games theory and third topic in this unit is called sequencing models. So we can expect one question each from each topic of 7.5 marks each from A, B and C. Out of this we have to solve any two. Okay. And then the last remaining question we go on to the unit that the case study question, question number 5. Okay. We go on to the last question, question number 5 which is the case study of 15 marks which is a compulsory question there is no option in the case study now on what topics case study is likely to come so from our past experience we can say that there are three likelihoods first is the linear programming LPP simplex method or second option is transportation problems from unit 2 or third likelihood is a PERT question that is the network analysis. So this is from unit 1 transportation from unit 2 and PERT from unit 3. So the case study is likely to come from any of these three topics. So this is the overall structure of our paper. Okay, so let us take a summary again. Question 1, 3 questions, A, B, C, 7.5 marks each, unit number 1, question 2, A, B, C, 7.5 marks each from unit 2. Question 3, 3 questions A, B, C, 7.5 marks each from unit 3. Question 4, 3 questions A, B, C, 7.5 marks each from unit 4. And question number 5 is the case study of 15 marks which can be either from unit 1 or from unit 2 
or from unit 3. Now, the most important thing to remember in this is that OR is a 100% numerical paper. They are not likely to come in theory questions are not likely to come. It will be a 100% numerical paper. Okay, so would like to summarize important things to remember. Hundred percent numericals theory is not expected. What are the advantages or disadvantages? Advantages highly scoring paper. You can score seventy or more out of seventy five, even seventy five out of seventy five in this. There are no disadvantages as such, only one that the element of risk because it is a numerical paper so if we make any mistake in that we will lose marks ok but the risk can be overcome with practice so the more we practice we eliminate the risk and we move on from disadvantages to advantages so that is the you can say the significance of work that it will help you improve your score and it will help you improve your percentages in your final result. Thank you.